All right then, so let's start by making our very first, very simple Go file. So up here, new file, and I'm gonna call this main.go, since this is gonna be the main application file. Now you don't have to call it main.go, but you'll find a lot of developers call their entry file something like this. And inside this file, I'm just gonna paste in a little bit of code, which is pretty much the demo code from the Golang website. And it's gonna allow me to explain the basics of how we write and run a Go file. So we're gonna go through this line by line. So first up then, we have this package mainline right here. Now, every Go file that you make will be part of a package, which is just a collection of files and code. Now, the package will either be called main, like in our case, or something else. Now, if the package is called main, this tells the Go compiler that our code should be compiled into an executable program at the end. So, Go will create a standalone executable file for us if we choose to build the application, and running that file will start our program. So all the Go files we create that are part of the program will specify this main package at the start of the file. If you are making some kind of shared library or utility code that could be used in other programs, then you will call your package something else, depending on what you're making, something which describes that library or code. In our case, since we'll be making a program to run on our computer, we'll use package main. All right, so next I wanna talk about this function right here. So notice that our function declaration starts off with the func keyword. All functions we create will start with this keyword. Then the function name in our case is main. Again, the name of this is important because this particular function is the entry point of our application. So when we run our program, Go will look through our files in the program and it will look for this main function and it will fire this first one automatically. So this main function is the entry point of the application. If I called it something else, you know, like hello or something like that, then Go would not automatically fire this when we run the program. Now, there must be one and only one main function in the application. We don't have one in every file that's inside our package. We just have one main function in the entry file. In other files, we can create other functions which can be invoked from inside this main function, but we only have one main function. All right then, so next up we have this import right here, which is importing FMT. Now, this is a package from the Go standard library, and this is how we import things. When we import multiple things, we'll see a slightly different way of doing it later on, but for now, we're just importing this single package, FMT. So, the standard library contains packages for all kinds of different functionality. This one, called FMT, is for formatting strings and printing messages to the console. It contains a bunch of methods to help us do these things, one of which is being used in the main function right here. So we say FMT, which is what we imported, dot the method name. Now, when we use methods like this on packages that we import, you'll notice they all start with a capital. And that's because inside these packages to export something, you have to use a capital for whatever you're exporting. So this one is called print learn or print line, and that prints a line to the console. Now we'll learn more about this package, FMT and printing to the console, and also formatting messages that we print to the console later on. But for now, let's see how we can run this program. So to run the file, you need to open up a terminal, which you can do by going to terminal and new terminal. I've got a shortcut control T, which I've set up for this. And then you need to make sure you're in the correct directory where the file is. I'm in the Golang folder, which is correct. And then we type go run to run a file, then the name of the file, which in our case is main dot go and then hit enter when we do that go is going to fire this function automatically and we should see this printed to the console so let's hit enter and then yep we see hello ninjas right here so that's all there is to it that's how we run a go file and now we've made our first file and we know how to run it let's dive into variables next 